Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be explaining all of my cash envelope categories. I got a comment a while ago and I have been planning on doing this video, but I recently just added some more envelopes to my binders. I knew I wanted to do that, so I kind of wanted to wait for that until I made a video explaining all of my categories. So now that I have all of my new envelopes, I don't think I'll be adding any more. I have a lot of envelopes. I have 80 envelopes, which is a lot and might be way too much for some people. It's definitely way too much if you're just starting out, but I have been cash stuffing for over a year and throughout like doing it, I've kind of realized what I want to save money for and some things I have to pay for and I don't have anywhere to pull it from. So I made envelopes for that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into this video. I'm gonna start with my bills binder, which most of these are bills, so they are self-explanatory. So rent, I pay online. That's my first envelope. I pay it online, but before I pay it online, I take all this cash out and do a bill condensing in every in all of my binders. So I take all of these bills because there's a lot of hundreds and fifties, and I see which envelopes in my other binders. If I have like two twenties and a ten, I can swap it out for this fifty. So I like to do that with my rent money, and I do have some bill condensing videos on my channel. So yeah, that's that. And some people just would prefer to keep it in their account. I mean, it's fun to cash stuff for me. And if it's in my account, I might forget it's there. Uh, this way it's in this envelope and I'm not spending it. Car payment is Logan's car payment. I do not put any of my own money into this. I think a lot of people get confused on that. I don't pay my boyfriend's bills. And if I do, I don't see anything wrong with that. Uh, yeah, this is his envelope well kind of mine I stuff it he doesn't do all this cash stuffing stuff uh, but this is his bill so is car insurance I do not stuff this this is Logan's car insurance internet is obviously another bill uh, I just it gets taken out of my checking account so I just pull the money out of this envelope before it's due and take it back to the ATM utilities same thing utilities for our apartment when it's due i just or before it's due i just take this money out and deposit it back into my checking account phone so i don't have a phone payment because my phone is paid off logan's phone he is still paying but we don't cash stuff that and so this envelope i think is when I've just been keeping it here. I never stuff it. It's kind of in the way. I'm thinking of moving it kind of more towards the back. So when I do get a new phone, I think I'll put money in here for that. When I get when I have a phone payment, it'll be put in here unless it's kept in my checking account. But I have the envelope for it. So yeah, so I don't really use this one. Subscriptions is for any monthly subscription. So in here right now we have our car wash subscription and Netflix. This is where I keep money for that. And when it's when those things are due, I just pull the money out of here and go back to the ATM. Annual expenses are for things that only come out once a year. So in this envelope right now is money for Logan's PlayStation Plus membership. I think it's like $120 a year. So right now we have $75 in there. No, I think it's 100 a year. Yeah. Um, it's $100 a year and we need $100 by April and we have 75 right now. So that's awesome. I do want Canva Pro and you will see in my personal binder right here that I have an envelope for Canva Pro. I want the yearly version of that because, well not the yearly version, but I want to pay yearly for that because it's cheaper. I don't want to pay monthly. So I could put that money in, in this envelope since it will also be an annual expense, but I made an envelope for it, so yeah, I don't know. But that's what annual expenses is. Credit card is for my Best Buy credit card. I got a Best Buy credit card so we could uh, buy a washer and dryer for our apartment. And that was like $2,068. We started paying in February of this year, and it is now August, and our balance is $442. I'm so excited to finally have that like paid off within the next month or two. So that's super exciting. So that is what this credit card envelope is for. I also have a credit card with my bank, but whenever I use that, it's just like for gas or for 
Starbucks uh, because I have money for Starbucks. I'll just use my credit card just so I'm using my credit card and then I'll deposit the cash I have for it back into my checking account and pay my credit card off like right away since I already have the money for it. I don't just go and spend my credit card. So this one though is for my Best Buy credit card. Pet insurance we currently do not have right now, but I really do want to get it. I don't think it's that expensive monthly. Obviously, this is self-explanatory, but I don't have it right now. I just haven't had the time to look into it, but I really do need to make this a priority. Um, student loans, I don't have any yet, but I will very soon. So I've just been slowly putting money into here. I have $15 in there, so yeah. Next is debt. So that money in here, I guess my credit card envelope is kind of like debt too, but I put the money for my washer and dryer in this credit card envelope because I'm paying that credit card. This debt is money that we owe my mom for, uh, Logan had a car accident like last April and we just now are starting to pay stuff for it. Um, it's, was like this whole big thing so in order for Logan not to go to court we had to pay like the whole thing like in full and we only had like two thousand dollars so my mom very thankfully helped us with that so now we are paying her back so that is what this debt envelope is for savings is obvious self-explanatory this is our cash savings so when this hits $500 I'm going to deposit it back into the bank into our savings account so it did have a thousand dollars in it but with this debt thing I had to deplete it so we are slowly trying to build back to our goal for this uh same with emergency when this hits $500 it'll go into the bank so emergency is for any emergency that comes up. Really, I want to have a lot of money saved up in here, but it's been a slow process, which is okay. But yeah, next is taxes. This is for my YouTube channel. So I get paid from YouTube each month. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. Uh, so YouTube, when they pay you, they do not take money out for taxes. So I take out like 20, 25% of my paycheck and put it into here. Next is month ahead. So this envelope is where I save money to be a month ahead on bills. So this envelope is for bills only. I want to be a month ahead on, well, I want to be, I don't want to be a month ahead on bills. I want to have a month ahead of like expenses saved up. Eventually I want like three to six months worth of money saved up, but we just hit $500 in this envelope. And to be one month ahead, I would need like, we would need like a little bit over $2,000. So this one is slowly growing as well. And I have a placeholder in here because this $500 is in the bank. So that's what month ahead is for, month ahead on bills. But for me personally, it's not like to actually be a month ahead. It's just in case we get laid off or lose our jobs or something, then we have this money to kind of fall back on. Next is over budget. So if I go over budget in any one of my envelopes, I pull money from here. So like, for example, household, if I only have like $20 in my household envelope and I spent $30 on household stuff, I can come into this envelope and just pull that $10 out because I went over budget. So those are all of the envelopes in my bills binder. Next, and these envelopes are from the Aesthetic Dollar, and I also have some envelopes in here that I made myself. So all of these binders and envelopes and placeholders will be linked in my description box. I've been getting a lot of questions lately about where I get my stuff, so always check the description box. I have like everything linked down there for you guys for easy access, I guess you could say. So in this binder, we have, this is like the binder where I pull more frequently. And then this is my sinking funds. So uh, we have groceries. So in my wallet right here, I keep my grocery money in my wallet. I have right here groceries, um, but we get paid bi-weekly. So I stuff $250 for, or a budget 250 for groceries for two weeks. So 
half of that or a little less than half of that I won't be using because that'll be for the next week. So I will keep that money in here until I need to use it because I don't want to have all of that money in my wallet. I don't need to do that. So I'll put it in here. So that is what this envelope is for. Household is for household things like cleaning supplies, paper towels, stuff like that, garbage bags. Toiletries are obviously self-explanatory. I kind of wanted it separate from household just because, I mean, it's kind of the same thing, but kind of not. And I just like being organized and having my money in certain places. So yeah, toiletries and then health. This is for vitamins, medicine, like Dayquil or NyQuil, allergy medicine, stuff like that. Pet care is obviously pet care for my cat, Milo. So this is where I take money out for his food, his litter. And I don't have like a crate for him. Like if I had to take him to the vet, I don't have anything to put him in. Because, uh, I don't know, I've just been using my mom's. He hasn't really had to go to the vet except when we first got him. He got neutered and then he had like, he started having stroke-like symptoms and it was really bad. His eyes were like going back and forth like crazy and he could not walk and it was really bad. So we had to take him back. But uh, I use my mom's like cat carrier for that, but I definitely need my own. Milo is fine now, by the way. He has a little bit of a head tilt because, uh, because of that, I guess. Something with the anesthesia that they used, he didn't react well to it. Uh, I mean, it's not like obvious head tilt, but he's cute. He's special. Here's a picture of him. If I mean, he was in my cash stuffing video a little bit, like his paws, if you saw my last cash stuffing video, but I don't know if you guys know exactly what he looks like. So there's Milo. I know he, he makes appearances in my video sometimes. You can hear him meowing in the background, but that is what pet care is for. Entertainment is a new one I added. So we went to the movies in... I don't know, in April, I think, we watched the the new Spider-Man movie. I think it's across, or is it Beyond the Spider-Verse? I don't know. It's the second one with Miles Morales in it. I forgot the name. Our movie theater here is really nice. The seats, like, recline, and it's, like, a full thing. Movie theaters are very expensive, though, anyways. And I spent $60 on four tickets because we went, Logan and I went with my sister and her boyfriend, and then that was just for the tickets. So food, popcorn obviously costs and drinks. So I wanted to make an envelope for like stuff like that that I don't really think about. We don't go to the movies often, but I definitely want to since going to that movie theater. It is so nice um, because in my wallet, I do have a spending envelope right here, but this spending envelope is for when we go out to eat. It is like strictly just for like going out to eat. So it's not like for anything else so I wanted something separate because I know the third one the third spider-man movie is coming out there's like beyond the spider-verse across the spider-verse and something else something else spider -verse. I don't know I can't remember all the names in the order but I saw that it was coming out in 2024 the third one so I definitely want to make sure I have money for that so that would go in this envelope and also my boyfriend and I went to the state fair with his family last weekend, so uh, you have to pay for like food and to get in and parking and stuff like that, so this, that would also go in here. So yeah, those are just a couple examples for what I would say for in this envelope. Next is home, and I have a house envelope also, and then I have household, which can kind of get confusing, but home is for anything to make my apartment feel like a home so like decorations money for that would go in here or like furniture I need a new crock pot because Milo was on the counter and he jumped off and the towel that the crock pot was sitting on fell off onto the floor and it shattered still haven't gotten a crock pot so I would put that money in here so that is what home is for date night is obviously for date night Gym, so I have a gym and fitness, which I don't think we'll be using anytime soon, but we have been, we need to work out, we need to exercise and be healthy. We could do that at home, but I feel like it'd be fun with all the equipment and stuff. I don't know. So gym would be for like the gym membership. 
and then which I guess could go into my subscriptions envelope but I was just like on a grind of like making all of these envelopes so I just made all the ones I wanted so I guess this would be for the subscription and then fitness would be for any like workout equipment workout clothes maybe I don't know um like protein powder but I don't see myself drinking like protein shakes and doing all that stuff so that would be like fitness. So I don't know. I'm still unsure about these two envelopes, but that's kind of like the, the difference between the two. Next is grilling. So summer is coming to an end, sadly, but this summer we've been grilling a lot lately and I've just been taking money out for like charcoal and brushes and things like that out of my household envelope. But we got, I don't know all the terminology for grilling, but we got charcoal. We got something else. For him to put the like things in or whatever i don't even know anyways um i took that money out of household and it was like twenty dollars ish and i i did not have twenty dollars extra in my household envelope because i also had to get other household items like toothpaste and stuff like that so i wanted to keep this separate and it is seasonal so i could like save up just a little bit of money for it and eventually like i want to get logan like an actual like flat top grill so maybe like saving up for that would be in this envelope but yeah that is my little grilling envelope next is long day which I actually don't have $20 in here I just put $20 in there so it wouldn't be empty so I could take a picture for my thumbnail but um long day is for when we have a long day and we don't want to cook or anything and we want to go out to eat get something quick because this has happened before where we have a long day, we come home late or we're both working and we're tired and we just want to go out to eat, but we check our spending envelope and we already spent all the money in there. So then we can pull from here, which I think this is a cute idea. I kind of made this one up myself, but we haven't been able to stuff it lately, but um, hopefully we can soon. Next is gifts. So the, this envelope is for any type of gift, like birthday gift, wedding gift, graduation gift, baby shower gift, anything like that. I have no, I don't need this envelope right now, but I'm thinking of like having this as an envelope to put money where like if I forget to budget for something, I can come to this envelope and pull money out. But since I have so many envelopes now, I don't think I've forgotten anything. Like I feel like every part of my life that I have to budget for, I have right here. So I have, I've not been using this envelope lately and yeah, this one's kind of like, I don't know, but it's good to have a miscellaneous envelope. Okay, Logan, this is Logan's spending envelope. So he stuffs this with his paycheck obviously and then whenever he wants to like go out and buy something, he'll just take it from here because it's his spending money. But I just made him more specific envelopes so I don't think he'll be using this which I'm going to explain all of his envelopes right here. So this was his spending envelope. Aya is Logan's envelope for me. So this is where he keeps money for my birthday and for Christmas. Okay, so here we get into Logan's new spending envelope. So I made a spending one just for like mis other miscellaneous spending that like isn't clothes or isn't shoes or isn't whatever else I have back here. So I'm not sure if he'll be using this one with his name on it. I don't know. I'll ask him what he wants to do, but yeah, spending. Clothing is obviously for clothes. Shoes is obviously for shoes. Hair, this is for haircuts and any hair products. I have my own hair envelope in here that um, I have for myself. My haircuts, I get them at Ulta because there's like a free shampoo and condition that they do to your hair and it's really nice. It's like $45 without tip and I usually tip like $10, so my haircuts are a little more expensive. Logan's is only like $20, and he does use some hair products, so I figured we could just have our hair envelopes separate. Next is fishing. This is one of his hobbies. He loves to go out and fish and get all these different lures and stuff, and he bought a fishing pole, like a new saltwater fishing pole when we went to Florida last year, so we didn't really have an envelope for that, so now he has one, which is nice. Next is games. This is for video games because he loves to play on his PlayStation and video games do, they are kind of pricey. So he wanted an envelope for 
any video games that he wants to buy and that is it so those are the, all the envelopes in this binder it's kind of like the binder that i pull from more often so next is sinking funds all right so i have medical so this is i have a health envelope which i explained was for like vitamins and um medicine and stuff like that medical i pull here to get our prescriptions which i don't know if i should put i get my prescription in like three months like three months at a time and so does logan so uh i don't know if i should keep that money in medical or if i should keep it in health because this envelope is where i want to save money in case of like a medical emergency so i want to have like at least $500 in here. Next is dental, obviously for anything related to the dentist. Car maintenance is obviously for car maintenance. So I am trying to, or I guess we are trying to save up money in here, again, at least $500. If we had to get like new tires or have any like car maintenance done. Car registration is for the license plate stickers on our cars. So like obviously every year you have to get new car tags. So in March, I paid like $160 for mine. And in May, Logan paid $160 for his. So we will not have to pull from this envelope until next March and next May, which we have a little bit over $100 in here. So that's good. Pet emergency is an emergency fund for Milo. So in case anything happens and I have to take him to the vet or you know he has an emergency i have money in here for him i want again a lot of money saved up in here just in case textbooks so this is for school one thing that i really regret is not budgeting for my textbooks and i i don't know i just didn't think of it i forgot and then when time came around i had to pull for my savings and then i have one for school which i have right here like a little uh tracker which this is also available as a digital download on my etsy shop so these are things i'm saving for in this envelope so my parking permit and they're making me buy a tuition protection plan so the next time i'll have to buy that would be for next semester so saving up for that so that's the stuff i put in my school envelope next is rainy day which i don't really know how to explain this i know a lot of people have this envelope in their binders but Sometimes there's just those days where, whether it's rainy or not, you just want to go and spend money. So that's what this envelope is for. There's nothing in there, obviously. There's nothing in a lot of these envelopes because I had to deplete them and use it for our debt. But yeah, that's what rainy day is. Christmas is obvious. This is for Christmas gifts. This honestly has not been a priority at all. So we have not been stuffing this. Next is holidays. This is for any other holiday that I want to save up for. Like if I want to host Thanksgiving, I would put all the money I need to get all the food in this envelope or like sparklers for 4th of July, anything like that. Travel is for traveling. So this would be for like the plane ticket to wherever I'm going, how much I need to spend like on food there and like literally everything. Next, I have an envelope for the beach, which is also travel. Uh, but I wanted a separate envelope for the beach because like travel could be like a road trip somewhere and I just want to have money just to go to the beach. I had to deplete this, unfortunately, um, but the beach is really special, so it needed its own envelope. Travel buffer. So this is just kind of like an over budget envelope. So I know when we went to Florida last year, we went a little bit over budget, not a lot. But we spent a little bit more money on like souvenirs and stuff than we had budgeted for. So like when we get back, I would take like the money out of there if we like overspent. And yeah, that's what Travel Buffer is. Next is Japan. So this is saving up for a trip to Japan. Next is Disney. Obviously saving up for a trip to Disney. I have no plans for that yet, but I just made this because it's cute. And I think I'm going to do like when I start selling physical products on Etsy, I think I'm going to do like a little bundle. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Next is passport. So I recently just applied to get my passport again because it's 
expired so Logan doesn't have one so I think the money in here we're just gonna save up for that so that he can get one too wedding we are not engaged or planning on getting married anytime soon but I do want to start saving up for this so when the time comes it won't be like as stressful again I did have money in here but I had to take it all out to go towards our debt Black Friday, we don't really go Black Friday shopping, but sometimes there are really awesome deals that like I cannot pass up. So we would just take money from there to get, like I know a couple years ago they had Roku's on sale. And so we got like three of them. <laughs> they were like $15 a piece or something. So yeah, that would like come out of this envelope. House, this is for if we are moving out or saving up for a house. So like a down payment for a house or like a U-Haul to like move out any moving expenses, um, any like home renovations. But when we get to that point, I might just make another home renovations envelope so it's separate. But we just moved into our new apartment in December. So yeah, I mean, I'm still gonna save up for this, but it, it won't be like super soon, maybe like a couple of years from now. But that's what house is. New car is obviously for a new car. I'm eventually going to need to get a new car. So that's what this envelope is for. And next is future. I really don't have any specific idea for this envelope. It's just like for saving for the future, which all of these envelopes are kind of saving for the future. But I think for this one right now, we want to get a new kitten. So not anytime soon, maybe like in the next year, just to like save up money, like to get it and to get it shots and, you know, stuff like that. So I think that is what I'll be putting in that envelope, but that is it for my sinking funds binder. And now finally moving on to my last binder. This is my personal binder where I have my personal envelopes and my savings challenges and stuff like that. So the first one is spending. So this is my own spending envelope. Like Logan has his own spending envelope. This can be literally for whatever else that I don't have in these specific envelopes, if that makes sense. So next I have Target. I've been going to, we don't shop at Target often. I mean, we go to Target for like kitchen stuff and like I love their curtains and their, I want a new comforter and I want it from Target. So maybe I'll put that money in here. And I like to go into the jewelry section and they have cute clothes and they have cute shoes and Target is literally, I love Target and there's a Starbucks in there too. So uh, I think this envelope will just be for like whenever I want to go to Target and spend money at Target. So yeah, seems kind of ridiculous. I mean, I could just put that money in spending, but I mean, it's more fun to have a Target envelope. Same with Amazon. I love Amazon. I get a lot of my books from Amazon. I do have a book envelope though. So next is nails and my nails are press-ons and I spend about... Um, after tax, it's like $8.15 for the kind that I get. So they are not super expensive and they do last a while. And I just like them better than, I mean, they're quick, they're easy. I don't have to go anywhere. They're cheap. So this is the envelope for that hair. So this is my hair envelope where I save money for haircuts and any like heat protectant spray or like my shampoo and conditioner skincare so I really need to take care of my face more so I made a skincare envelope I wash my face daily but I feel like I kind of want to get more into skincare so that can get expensive so I made an envelope for that this is my envelope for Logan so this is like for his birthday and Christmas gifts that I want to get him I put all of that money in here his 23rd birthday was actually on August 8th so this envelope is empty so now I will need to save up for Christmas gifts next is books I love reading so I obviously had to have an envelope for books next is planning so this is for planner stuff so if you haven't watched any of my planner videos right now I'm using a half letter planner and since 2023 is almost over I need to save up some money for new inserts for next year so I want to switch to A5, but that can get expensive switching planner sizes, having to get all the new dividers and accessories and inserts and stuff like that. So maybe that'll be like way down in the future, but um, that's also what this envelope is for. Clothing is obviously for clothes. 
YouTube. So I have this envelope for anything that I spend for my YouTube channel. So like, uh, I just got a new poster board. So that would come out of this envelope. I mean, this was only a dollar and 25 cents. So it really doesn't matter. I just use like the buffer in my checking account, but like any decorations like this or like new binders or cash envelopes, I would put that money in this YouTube envelope. So anything for my channel. Also, maybe like a new tripod or a ring light. I do want a new tripod because mine is broken in two places. So uh, that money would go into here because it's for my YouTube channel. Next is classroom. So if you didn't know, I'm going to school to be an elementary education teacher. And teachers have to buy a lot of stuff for their classroom. So I am saving up money for that. There's obviously nothing in here. But I do have a box in my closet full of I have one box full of books for my classroom library that I got for free at one of my old workplaces I worked at a school and they had a lot of books that they didn't need or like want anymore so I grabbed a whole bunch I grabbed like magic tree house and a whole bunch of other like kids books and uh anytime I find like Clarence books for my classroom like read alouds um I grab those because I want them and I'm like starting to prepare already so anything for my classroom that's what this envelope is for okay and then i have one for the pink lily warehouse sale so pink lily is a clothing store it's like a boutique they're in kentucky it's also like you can shop online too but they have a warehouse sale where they have stuff for super cheap and you get tickets for it like you buy tickets for it and you can just bring like whatever bags you have and like put your clothes in there and it's a super fun i love their clothes and at the warehouse sale things are like five dollars ten dollars fifteen dollars so i really want to go i wanted to go this year but i totally forgot about it so i had to make an envelope for it and it'll just be like a fun little road trip Kentucky's like five hours away from us we've actually been there to visit part of logan's family so yeah i really want to make that happen one day one summer because they do it during the summer and i feel like it'd just be super fun next we're into like my business envelopes so i recently opened up an etsy shop which i will have linked down below in the description box in case you want to check it out if you haven't yet already i have digital downloads on there now but i am going to be releasing physical products very very soon so stay tuned for that. I have just started school, so I don't know how quickly I will be able to like get this going with my physical products. But I made one called Etsy. I really honestly don't know what I'm going to put in here because all the envelopes behind it are like way more specific for my Etsy. So I don't really know what I'm going to be doing with this envelope. I just made it just because. So here I have supplies. So this will be for like laminating pouches, cardstock, ink for my printer, stuff like that. So like supplies that I need to make the products. Shipping is obviously things I need to ship out the orders. So like sticker paper for the labels, uh, the packages, like the bubble mailers and stuff like that. Organization. So I definitely need more organization in like like on my desk for stuff like this. So I have been using my cash tray right now to like keep track of all the stuff I've been laminating and making just to kind of group them together. But when I have to film my cash stuffing videos, I have to empty out my cash tray and it's like all laid out on my desk and I feel like I want another one or like other containers. So that's what organization is for. Equipment is for any like equipment. So like I have a printer, but if I needed a new printer, the money for it would go in here. Um, what else? I want to get like a thermal label printer to print the shipping labels off of to make it easier. So like money for that would go in here. Um, yeah, just stuff like that. Next is Canva Pro. So I had mentioned that I want to pay yearly for it just because it would be cheaper. And I could put that money in my annual expenses envelope, but again, I was just having so much fun making these envelopes. I just made one for Canva Pro. So yeah, that's self-explanatory. And then Etsy taxes, because I'm not sure if Etsy takes out money, like takes out taxes before they pay you. 
because I know YouTube, when you get paid, you have to take out money for taxes because they don't do that. So I made this just in case. And that is it for my envelopes. But here are my savings challenges, which I haven't been using much. I have a $200 saving challenge from Soul Mama uh, that I'm saving up money for to pay my friend back. And then this I actually made. It's available on my Etsy too. It's a Star Note savings tracker. So every time you find a star note, you can put it in here and track how much money you have saved up. So this is a star note because instead of a letter, there's a star right there, which I think is so fun to find these and collect them. So for my cash stuffing, I have like all this money for my cash stuffing that will be uploaded next week. But I keep looking at the letters right here to see if it's a star and none of them are star notes. And I've just been like on the lookout for star notes. So I've just, it's like a fun little savings challenge type thing so i just have that and then i have this compulsive saver one from the aesthetic dollar which i haven't used yet because i haven't been able to save a lot of money um i have these ones from broke boy budgets on etsy which again i also haven't been using because I haven't been able to save much and then these envelopes are from Plain Chic Designs. They are $1, $5, and $10 challenge envelopes. So whenever you have like extra $5 bills like from your wallet or whatever, you can put them in here. So that's super fun. Haven't been able to get into that. But this video has been super long probably. So I'm going to stop right there because I have explained all of my cash envelopes so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope i explained them well enough in detail and maybe it gave you some ideas for your own envelopes but if you guys watched until the very end thank you thank you so much if you enjoyed watching this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will talk to you guys in my next video